I'm excited to have you here today because one of my subscribers requested that I talk about this beautiful interior paint color by Sharon Williams called Aesthetic White. I'm going to share with you some key points that you need to know about this paint color before deciding to paint it in your home. I want to help you and the last thing I want you to do is to make a costly mistake. So. I'm going to share with you the undertones of this paint color. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the south and north facing rooms. And I'm going to compare this paint color with other interior paint colors to give you an idea of what this paint color really looks like. And for those of you that are new to this channel, I would love to have you here. I, I talk about a lot of valuable tips concerning undertones and then how to work with different paint colors when pairing it with both your fixed and furnished items that you may have in your home. All right, so the first thing that you need to know about aesthetic white are the undertones. It's a grayish. So what's a grayish? It's a mix of a beige and a gray, and it leans on the warm side. So now you know that it's a grayish. It leans on the warm side. So next, I want to share with you what this paint color looks like when comparing it with other grayishes and some warm off whites. So I'm going to compare this with Ballet White. By the way, it's a grayish by Benjamin Moore. Notice what happens when you compare Aesthetic White with Ballet White. Aesthetic White is lighter than Ballet White, and Ballet White is warmer and slightly darker than Aesthetic White. This is why it's so important to compare Aesthetic White with other interior paint colors that you may have in your home. Now, watch what happens when I compare this with a creamy off-white called Alabaster by Sharon Williams. Notice what happens when I compare Aesthetic White with Alabaster. You're gonna notice how Alabaster looks like a creamy yellow, but Aesthetic White, it looks muted. You see a little bit of a beige and you see a little bit of a gray. That right there is a textbook grayish. So this is why Aesthetic White is called a grayish. Now, watch this. This is the last one. I want to compare this with Swiss Coffee, another grayish by Benjamin Moore. You will notice how Aesthetic White, it looks a little bit warmer and a little bit darker than Swiss Coffee, as Swiss Coffee is warmer than Aesthetic White. So this is why it's so important to compare these interior paint colors with what you have in your home. Now, I want you to get a good idea of what this could look like in your home. Watch this. Now, in this south-facing room, you're gonna notice that I'm comparing Aesthetic White with another white sample board because I want you to see the contrast. Notice how Aesthetic White looks light, open, airy, and inviting. It's absolutely beautiful when you pair it correctly. Now, I want you to see what this looks like in a north-facing room. Again, you're gonna notice that I'm using a white sample board because I want you to see the contrast. Notice how aesthetic white looks dingy. It looks muted. So be careful where you decide to paint this paint color because it could look dingy or muted. All right, now that I've shared with you these valuable tips, I would love to help you. Feel free to check out my website. It's right down below in the description section. Go there, check out the reviews, see what people have to say. If you don't need help, I encourage you, go through all my blogs, learn. I want you to learn. I don't want you to make a costly mistake. Until then, I will see you in the next video.